Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone and today we're going to be looking at providing and filtering data with Bokeh. So let's get started. So first off let's go on and create a new um, file and let's call this a Bokeh, uh, let's say bokehdata.py. And so um, first off uh, some things that we're going to kind of uh, talk about and, and, and discuss today specifically is using the uh, column data source. Okay. Um, and that's going to be util, uh, utilizing and helping us be able to take in different types of data besides just the list that we've been using so far. Um, and we'll be able to do something like pulling in um, dictionaries as well as um, taking in uh, pandas data frames, which will be very helpful to us in the future. So first off, uh, let's go on and get some of our basic plots in. So from uh, bokeh.plotting, let's import figure figure and show. <clears throat> We're also going to do from uh, bokeh.models. We're going to import um, the column data source. Okay. Uh, and so let's actually create up um, create up a data dictionary. So uh, let's just call this data. And we have some dictionary here with uh, some values, and let's call this uh, just x. And one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then we'll call this y here with um, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, and so the next thing in here is to actually create create um, a column data source okay and this is again uh, this is going to be uh, based on a dictionary so we're just going to call this source in here and uh, we'll use the column data uh, source and then we just have data is equal to data here and then that is going to allow us to source our data um, throughout and so then let's just go on and create some basic figure here so um, uh, so P is equal to our figure um, and let's just uh, use all the defaults for now and we'll also go on and uh, make a scatter plot okay using the circle so P dot circle here we want uh, X Y uh, source is equal to source and then we'll do show p. Oh, and again here, I actually need to do something like x is equal to, and this needs to actually be in uh, quotes here, x or y is equal to, and let's put this in quotes y. Because again, here we're actually sourcing. So this is very similar. The syntax here is gonna be very similar to like Seaborn syntax, where you want to have this in um, a string format. So, uh, and here you, again, you can see it, it's not, not very pretty, but there are the dots there. Again, I didn't make any type of uh, size or anything. Uh, we could always go back in here and maybe say something like uh, uh, size is 10. Okay, rerun that. And here we get our little bit larger dots. So that's, uh, whoops, that is the first way in which um, we can create up our source values. Uh, now, again, that's that's going to be providing any type of column data. We can also this column uh, this column data source function. Okay, also allows us to grab um, NumPy arrays. Okay, and pandas uh, data frames. So if let's actually go up and let's actually maybe play with that a little bit. So we can go and get something like um, from Seaborn. Uh, Seaborn uh, dot uh, which one was it uh, let me double check which data set we want to grab real quick okay so let's go on and um, we'll grab some data from Seaborn so let's do import um, Seaborn as SNS and I'm going to go on and um, delete this row and what we want here is something like um, let's say data is going to be SNS dot load 
uh, data set here and let's just go in and grab the tips data set okay and um, for those of you that don't know the tips data set it's basically like um, uh, people that have um, have how much tips someone has gotten from um, being uh, paid for dinner and it has uh, all kinds of stuff like total bill the tip uh, time whether people are smokers uh, and so let's let's maybe just do a quick um, example of that and I'm actually going to just, just do something like um, a total bill in here and I'm also going to do um, tip so then we should be able to play this out and again it may take a second because it is a little bit larger of a data set um, and so here now we actually can see that we grabbed uh, this data set in here and also that this data set is this is actually a, a pandas uh, data frame okay um, and again we'll uh, in later videos we'll definitely be going through and grabbing other types of data uh, and using them um, throughout the series so the last thing I kind of want to do uh, with this is let me uh, go through and um, do a little bit of maybe um, some data filtering okay so let's uh, let me actually clear this all out and let me grab up a um, a new uh, data set and we'll do something like um, uh, bokeh uh, filtering.py and again this is this is actually um, Going to be utilizing like index filtering from bokeh okay we're not um you can also do a lot of filtering and those types of things again we'll, we'll do some widgets as well as um basically doing pandas type filtering and querying and that type of stuff to uh, filter out your data as well um but for now let's go on and from uh, bokeh dot layouts we're going to import our grid plot uh from uh, bokeh uh, bokeh.models here we're going to import the CDS view uh, the column data source as well as an index filter and then we're also going to do from uh, bokeh.plotting we're going to import in here our figure figure and our show as well so our source data in here um, uh, so uh, let's just have a um, first off let's actually create up uh, some data so here I want um, I'm actually just use the dict function it's more comfortable that way is equal to one two three four five and then um, here y uh, is going to be let's say five four three two one and then our uh, column with our data is equal to data. Um, and then again, you could all do this in one line, but I, I like to kind of have everything cleaned out. Um, and now we're going to actually uh, create a view using an index filter. Okay, and so uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to grab up some data at specific indices. So let's uh, create a view here. We have our CDS. Um, view and we grab our source there's gonna be source and then we're going to have our filters uh, and here um, we're going to use the index filter and we'll do a zero uh, inside of here we want zero two and four uh, and then let's also uh, set up some tools okay so again this is more of a a complete example um, that we've had than we've had in the past so tools here um, we're going to say we want a box selection uh, we want a hover and we want a reset and then inside of here let's go in and create our figures so P here is figure and then we want plot uh, width here is going to be um, let's do 500 uh, plot 
height is going to be uh, 500, and I don't know why I put this in a string. Uh, 500. Uh, and tools is equal to uh, tools. So let's go on and actually create up our circle here. And we want x to equal x, y to equal y, uh, size here to equal 10. Uh, hover color is going to be red. Uh, and we want uh, source equal to source here. And view is equal to view. Now we can go on and show both of our plots as well. So let's do something like um, like this. Uh, we need our filtering, uh, filter our data as well. So let's go on and uh, create the second plot. So the second plot here is going to be the filtered one. So we'll just call this P filtered. Um, and because again, notice here, we don't have any, um, well actually here I need to let me copy this and get rid of this here. <sighs> I was a little ahead of myself. So here we're going to have our fee pil filtered. And again, um, I'm actually going to just copy this whole thing and then we'll paste it down here and then we'll edit it as we need to. So this is going to be filtered uh, tools as tools. It's basically going to be the same thing. And then here, um, we want to add uh, p dot filtered, and here it's going to be circle. And then this is where we actually add in the view is equal to view. So because the view, if we remember, is our CDS view filter that we add in here with our index. And so this will actually just grab items at uh, zero, two, and four at the index again. And we'll and we'll see that here in just a second. So the next thing that we need to do is go on and make our grid. So show, we want our grid plot here. And I am going to do P, P filtered. And uh, let's go on and take a look. Okay, so now we can see here that what's nice is that these are actually linked together, okay? So when, um, and you know what, let me make these just a little bit bigger. Um, so you guys can see that just a little bit more clearly. Okay, so now what we have is when we have this hover, they turn red, and if you notice here, this one turns red, okay, only, and it gives us just a little bit of data, it tells us that it's at index one, okay, and then it has kind of our uh, X and Y coordinates as well as our screen coordinates. Now if I zoom back out and I go to this one, notice they are now, whoops, they are linked together. Red, not, red, not, red, not, red, not. Okay, and this is gonna be fantastic for whenever we start having in these multiple views and we have some of our data, we're going to be able to have a lot of connections between our plots. Okay, so this is, this is kind of just gonna be a first taste of what uh, we're going to be doing with um, filtering data as well as uh, creating different views with our data. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.